Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And tonight, we are going to continue our test of the Gold Dollar 208 that we honed up last Friday. Now, this is, was honed up on a 3,000, 8,000, and a 12,000 stone only. And uh, other than some little quirky fit and finish problems. Honestly, so far, this razor is shave ready and doing a great job, okay? Uh, this would be a great beginner razor for anybody out there that is wanting to get their feet wet but doesn't want to spend a lot of money, all right? So now, for our soap, we are using Sterling Soap Company, Gatlinburg. And now this is a marvelous soap, guys. It really is just like being out in the woods in the fall. It is excellent, excellent scent. Tallow-based soap. In the description, I will have all of the ingredients in the scent profile there for you. Plus, along with that, I'll have links to everything I used in this shave as well, so you can conveniently find everything. Now, I'm using my Omega 10,098, already loaded. That means this is episode two. So now, if you missed episode one, click right down here in the description. I'll have a link there for you so you can see episode one and how this shave began, okay? Now, it is the weekend. This is the Sunday shave. How are you doing? Are you having a good weekend? I hope so. Yep. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're well. Healthy and well. Oh yeah, nice. We're gonna just throw a little more water on that. Yeah, so tell me how you uh, guys are doing. What do you think about uh, the honing video, what I'm going to be trying to do, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, a few, I don't know, a few weeks ago maybe at this point, is I'm going to be trying to take uh, questions that are asked on my channel here and do uh, Friday specials, trying to answer the questions that you guys have and show you how to make it work. So this honing series was just exactly that. Somebody asked, could I do something like this? And I worked it out and came up with a series. And you can see uh, his question actually in the comments of that honing video for you. All right. Yeah, Tom, that was really an excellent question. This is going to open doors for people that haven't had them open, which is good. All right, so this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means this is a pass and a half in this video. So we're going to go across the grain on our neck, against the grain on our cheeks. And also, this is normally where I can really tell how a razor's doing. Nice. So far, so good.
Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So far, so good. Blade is smooth, comfortable, cutting just like through butter. Okay, time to switch hands. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, I gotta tell you, across the grain really is working, it's comfortable, not, not a problem doing exactly what it needs to do, cutting right through this growth, just like no tomorrow guys, and this soap is just marvelous.
Nice. Oh, sweet. Nice. Excellent. This is really working quite well. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, pass two of the shave complete. Let's get that washed off. See how we're doing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Really nice, comfortable shave. Cut right through that. Wow. Wonderful. All right, let's get ready for the half pass. Now this is going to be across the grain, right in through here, everywhere else. This is going to be an against the grain pass, okay? So just the way my hair grows. That's how this one's going to work, all right? And for you guys out there, this is something you have to figure out. What is with the grain? What is across the grain? What is against the grain? All right. And honestly, you really won't know until you just check it out. You just have to check, make sure uh, you let your hair grow a little bit, get a little beard going, and then you can look and see. All right. Pass number and a half. Or affectionately what I call the half pass.
Nice. Really nice. Okay. Now we'll switch hands. We'll do the other side. All right, here we go. Looking good. All right, so there it is. The test shave with the Gold Dollar 66. It is brilliant. It is definitely shave ready. And I'm telling you guys, nice, nice, comfortable shave. You can't beat that. Now, let's get this cleaned off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only is it comfortable, that's a nice close shave. That's BBS close, guys. Excellent. Yes, sir. You know, the fit and finish may not be so good on those blades, but the steel isn't bad. At least not on any of them I've seen so far. Okay. There's that. Now for our aftershave, there's lavender witch hazel. Excellent stuff. Just really nice, good for the skin. Mmm. And a beautiful scent. That lavender is just really amazing. Really is. So good. And for our aftershave. Chaser Florida water cologne. All right, excellent stuff, man. Now, this is like awesome! Wow, so good! Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh man, it, this is just amazing. If you don't have any, you have to get some and try it. Okay? And now, top the shave off, Nivea Post Shave Bomb. Let's get that moisture back in the skin. And repair. And we'll get that everywhere. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate it and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one, how the shave began. 
Click down here to see videos specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.